Today, I'll show you a DIY plug-in mount for your floodlight cameras. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today will be a quick video of making a DIY plug-in mount for your floodlight cameras. So if you have the Wisecam floodlight, UFIS floodlight cams, Nest Cam floodlight, or any other floodlight cameras that needs a junction box to be installed, this is for you. So keep on watching. I excluded ring floodlight cams because they do have their own plug-in mount, which I did check and reviewed a few weeks ago, and if you haven't seen it yet, I will link it down below. I think all Wi-Fi security camera companies have now added a floodlight cam model or an add-on accessory to their cameras. Ring is the first one who innovated this concept four and a half years ago when they added a camera to a floodlight. It took a while for other companies to follow suit. But now in the last few months, Weist and Nest joined in with their add-on floodlight accessory for their cameras. One thing about floodlight cams though is that it needs a junction box to install. So it needs either to replace an existing floodlight or a light fixture in your home. This is the most ideal setup because it is a way cleaner look and the camera just integrates seamlessly with the light. But how about people that doesn't have a junction box or no wiring to the area they want to put the floodlight cams? Well, when I checked out Ring's plug-in mount, a lot of you have asked if it can be used for other brand of floodlights. Unfortunately, no, because Ring uses a different type of mounting and any floodlight cams that use a central screw to attach the floodlights will not work. Well, today I'll show you how to make a DIY plug-in mount for your floodlight cameras. And I actually have been doing this all along because this is how I do my setup to review floodlight cameras in my backyard. And I'll just share this with you guys. Also, big disclaimer here, I'm not an electrician, and this method might be frowned upon by licensed electricians and city codes, so just do your due diligence. What you will need are several items, an outdoor rated extension cord, a plastic round junction box, coax cable clips, and a zip tie. All of these you can easily find in your local big box hardware store, but they're also available at Amazon and we'll link some of them down below. When you open up the plastic junction box, you will have these threaded covers which you need to screw into the holes. Get your extension cord and make sure it is for outdoor use, and light duty rating should be fine. With a wire cutter, cut the cable to your desired length. We will need to drill a hole on one of the covers as close to the diameter of the cable. Clean it out and fit the cable through the hole. The tighter the fit, the better for weather sealing. You can then strip the wires. A couple of inches should work. Now, to prevent the cable from being pulled out, you can wrap a zip tie around the cable and around 4 to 6 inches from the end. Tighten it and cut the extra length of the zip tie. And you can see that it will prevent the cable from being pulled out. Strip the individual wires. And time to install this setup outside. Screw in the round box in a wall or ceiling and you will need two screws. Now you'll be able to install any floodlight cameras that you like. In this case, we will install the Wisecam floodlight. Screw in the ground wire to the metal bracket and screw in the metal bracket to the junction box. Now for the Wisecam floodlight because its base is a bit bigger than our round box and its weather gasket is not able to sit flush in the box, then you will need this round gasket, which I will also link below, and just place this on the back of the floodlight, and this will provide the weather sealing. Hang the floodlight with the S-hook and connect the wires, white to white, black to black. Screw in the central screw and just make sure that the gasket is well seated on the junction box. And now your Wisecam floodlight is installed. Time for cable management, and what I use and recommend are the coax cable clips to secure the extension cord. I like them because they are screwed in and not hammered in. Route the cord and secure it with a clips up to the nearest power outlet, and you can just plug in your floodlight camera. A tip here on the power outlet is that if you're concerned about somebody unplugging the camera, you can add this lockable outlet cover, which I have this one for a while now, and you'll be able to lock it using a padlock. And now it'll be harder to unplug your camera. I will also link this lockable cover in the description down below. With this DIY mount, you now have the flexibility in where you can mount your floodlight cameras as long as you have a power outlet nearby. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Any questions, comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.